Oh my gosh, it happened again. The air establishing database connection. You know, I used to be super scared of this as I'm a designer, not a coder. And generally what would happen is I'd freak out and call HostGator and then I would have them reset the server, right? For a $25, $50 fee. You know, I've hired freelancers to try and fix this. It's just been an annoying thing. Um, and lately I've had a lot of luck. So this is a live session. I'm going to show you how to fix this. It's not that hard at all if you follow the instructions that are on HostGator. Um, so here's what I've, I've seen. Here's the air. I'll put this link down uh, in the footer and description. But if you're like me, I learn easier by watching a video. I am very horrible at following directions like this. Um, but they're actually pretty concise and it looks like a lot of directions, but it's really not that bad. So let's get into it. Um, I'm in the cPanel right now and you're going to do the file manager. Right, let's take a look at this. And once you're in here, one of the things you gotta look for is the settings here, show hidden files, make sure that's on, because if it's not, you're not gonna see uh, some of the files we need to work with, right? So I hit save and you can see, oh, oh wow, secret files. <laughs> I love it. Um, so then I go back here, let's follow our instructions real quick, kind of uh, word by word here. Step one, configure the database server. So how to create a database user. Um, we'll open that up um, and then I'll show you how to do that and then how to assign privileges. Then you're going to locate the database configuration file. Um, that's the uh, hidden file we need to find. And uh, then you're going to uh, replace um, some, some, some data, data points in that configuration file. Um, I think it's the PHP config. We're going to find out here in a second. And um, then uh, once you do it, you've, you've kind of reset the database. So let's talk about what we're doing. So somehow the database isn't talking, therefore the site can't work, right? Um, so if you delete that broken connection and create a new one, it tends to fix this. So hopefully that's the case here. Um, otherwise, I've wasted all our time and I won't be posting this video, but let's give it a shot. Um, so the first thing uh, we're going to want to do is uh, follow the how to create. Um, so you're going to go to the SQL server. MySQL databases over here. Um, let's get that going. Um, so we're going to type SQL my SQL databases right here. Okay. And then once you get in here, uh, you can see this is your, your check database is your repair database. Um, I don't know about all that. I don't think it works. Um, and then your current databases. So then you create a, a new uh, user. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create this and I'm going to create a new database password. Now you can try to hack me if you want, but I'm going to change this right after the video. So um, there's no sense you even copying this password and no sense me blurring it out um, because I'm going to change it. Um, so I create a user first, right? There we go. I'm going to save that. Uh, you could go back and let's go back to our uh, instructions here. Um, so here we go. We added a new user. We just did that. We entered the password uh, and then how to delete, uh, which we weren't called to do here. Um, so configure the user. We created a database users and then assign the privileges. Don't skip this step. I have um, and it messed me up. So the next thing you're going to want to do is add the user, assign privileges to that user, right? Um, so let's go back here. And uh, we are going to scroll down. Oops, I'm going to need to move this. And green mica user, we're going to add to this database. So boom. And we're going to do all privileges. And then we're going to do this silly little thing, go back. There we go. And now you can see when we go under here, um, I've been assigned those privileges. So let's go back. I'm going to move this. Just keep this over here. Um, ah, there's your, your, your privileges right there. Um, and I, they didn't say we needed to delete this. Um, I think it would be a good idea, but I didn't. Um, 
and I didn't see that in the troubleshooting at all. Um, so it won't do it. Now we're going to locate the script files. All right. So these paths are relative to the root of the script. So if you're coding any of these, Drupal, that's where that's at. But we're in WordPress, right? So we want to find WordPress down here. Um, let's see, there we are, WordPress. So it's the WP config file. Now, as I told you in the control panel here, um, you're not going to see the WP config file um, if you don't show those hidden files, right? So let's scroll down. There it is, our WP config file. What you want to do is hit edit on that. All right, edit. And there we go. Um, so this is our coding. Let's give it a shot. Um, so the database name is correct. Database name's correct. The password's not correct. Um, I don't know if that's the whole password there. It looks like it is. And I'm gonna change that with my password. And then um, let's see, username, there it is. I think that's gonna be changed to Micah. Okay, let's go find our directions here. We'll double check here in a second. Yeah. All right, so let's let's double, double check these. We found the location, um, location, and then reconfigure the database. Uh, I already jumped ahead of you guys. Um, so the database name, um, user one. Okay, here's an example of what the database should look like. Make sure the DB reflects, yep, that's right. Replace the DB user and password, which we just did. And be sure that the DB host name is set to local host. Let's go in there, right here. And it's set to local host. So we change the password, we change the user, okay? And it's going to the database. That's all you have to do. You just have to find that and do that. Save changes. Um, then I'm closing. And then if we go back here, I, I mean, let's, <clears throat> I hope that's it. I hope that's it. Let's hit refresh here and see if we have this 15 year old, um, website <laughs> crawling on theme 2011 is going to work. I'm going to hit refresh. Fingers crossed. Oh, it didn't work. So what did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? No. All right, I'm gonna go back in and check a few things in the directions and let's see what we did wrong. So, oh yeah, I meant to do that, right? Um, before I was just doing mica, and I've got this green neen here in front of it with a underscore. So that's what I think I did wrong. Um, so we need to do this green neen thing here in the username. What was it again? Uh, green neen underscore. Okay, green neen underscore mica. All right, let's double check that again because I'm not that smart. And if I can do this, you can do it. So green one in, green neen one. Oh, we got two in there. And that's why I can't code. So if I can do this, if I can pull this off, you guys can. Let's hopefully say that that's it. I close this out. Going back to our database here. We got our fingers crossed, right? Oh, yes. Yes. And that's why I'm not a coder. <laughs> um, so sites back up. I love it. And uh, yeah, that's how you fix an air database connection. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's longer than my usual videos. They're usually two minutes and right to the point and edited. But you know what? I got to get re-monetized on YouTube somehow. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's worked every time for me, guys. So just follow the instructions and uh, hopefully you get your site back. And remember, if you don't, hopefully they do even if you pay for it or not, they do um, backups. So um, you just got to call them. If, if it's recent, they can, uh, for like a small fee, 
replace everything for you. And that seems to work as well too, if you can't get it working. Um, anyway, take care. Have a great day.